<laughs> my grandfather, and I don't want to delve too deep into this, but my grandfather always made parallels between <clears throat> cars and women. And it's much better to be addicted to cars and looking at cars and buying cars and cars and cars and cars, and cars than the other way, right? So he was married <laughs> twice, period. But you know, <laughs> you'd always bring that up. <laughs> well, and all the old photos of Richard would always be, yeah, your grandmother posing. Yeah, he'd always put her in front a of a car. car, and he put her in front of an airplane, or he put her in front of a car, or a truck, or a motorcycle. But yeah. <laughs> well, it's like the, the the joke goes, and there's memes all over the internet now about like you know like this uh, a wife concerned about her husband behind behind the computer at at midnight going, is he looking at porn? It's like, nah, he's looking at cars, which is <laughs> way more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and in true. this day and age, like bat. Like, yeah, I mean, every, I mean, everybody's looking at Beth. Beth gets mad at me. We're sitting on the news set, and I'm looking at Bat, and she gives me this look like, <laughs> "Well, it's rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's rude when somebody's giving the weather and they're telling you the weather's going to be the same as it was yesterday and a week before and five months." <laughs> why is that rude? That's why for the non-car <laughs> people listening, it's bring a trailer, yeah, not yeah, Bat. Yeah. You know, I don't know. So you look at it. You look at a, a bring a trailer, and you go, "Okay, I look for some cool car stories." But then the thing is, kind of like what you were talking about, is you look and you go, "Oh man, wouldn't it be cool to own this car?" Yeah, man, I would. Lo- man, how that's how it would starts. Drive trouble. Car. Yeah, that's... and then you keep driving them. You keep driving them, or you you buy them and you have them, and you drive them. And you park them away for a long time, and you go for the next one. I wish. Oh, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, come on, Steve, spit <laughs> spit it out, buddy. I wish I could drive them. Yeah, I just I'm so busy working on everything. So what I've became is just a slave to the cars. That's oh. probably the only downfall um, with having so many cars and doing everything yourself. I don't generally farm my work out to anybody. Mm. So I try to do everything myself because I'm a control freak. And um, so therefore, at the end of the day, I'm so damn tired. Everybody says, why don't you drive a different car home? And I'm like, because I don't want to clean it the next day because I got too much work to do on other cars. 